Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's Benedict here again from Jagan Companies Sheets and uh, today we'll not uh, do the basics of Power BI and I want us to focus on uh, financial reports so our main focus will be income statement, balance sheet and cash flow so any other visual or any other report uh, within our financial reports will just be supporting documents supporting visuals so i want us to navigate through the pages so that you can see what i have as a balance sheet cash flow and income statement so let's start with the income statement so we'll start with monthly income statement and uh, here i have um, monthly income statement for 2017 and 2018 so 2017 we only have uh, december figures so the the figures for january to november are not there so our figures for 2017 will just pick the figures for december and consider them as figures for 2017 so 2018 also we have a period running from January to March and uh, we also have supporting charts and I've also done some cards for earnings, tax, revenue, cost of sales and operating expenses. So let's move to branch income statement. And here is what we have as a branch income statement and we have a branch A, B, C and D with the uh, branch B and uh, C making losses. And we also have uh, charts for earnings after tax, revenue, cost of sales, and operating expenses. So when I click on uh, 2017, you can see we only have, uh, rather we have uh, our total earning after tax as 89, 421 with the branch B and C making losses of 14, 4, 79, and 25, 7, 28 respectively. We also have uh, supporting charts and uh, cards as well for earnings of the tax, revenue, cost of sales, and operating expenses. Again, now let's move to cumulative balances for P and L. So we have a comparative, rather we have comparative uh, figures for uh, for January, March, and, and uh, rather for January, February, and March, and for we are comparing the 2017, and then we also have our earnings after tax down here from uh, 89 for 2017 and the 94th January, 234 February and uh, 313 for, for March. So the cumulative figures, uh, like, like now let's take an example, the cumulative figure for March 2018 is, uh, is for its uh, ind individual figures for January, February and March total together. So when we add uh, the total figures for January, March and April, we get the cumulative figures as at March uh, 2018. And then we also have a yearly income statement. And then here we have 2018 and 2017. And then we also have uh, the chart for an um, separate tax for both 2017 and 2018. And then we also have here balance sheet. And uh, balance sheet, we have uh, periodical balances from January to March. And uh, within this chart, we have for February. And uh, rather, we have for January and February. And the comparative figures here are as, as at uh, 31st December 2017. So when you check down here, we have net assets uh, both time with capital employed for both uh, the periods for January and uh, February 2018. And then we also have uh, balance 
by cheat as of 31st March 2018 with the net assets tying with the capital employed and then let's now move to cash flow statement page and uh, within our cash flow statements page I've, uh, I've considered the 2017 periodic losses as our net uh, income or net loss and then I'm, I'm using that to adjust uh, rather to calculate my cash and cash equivalent as at the end of uh, December 2017. So when you check down here, I have 130093 as uh, cash and cash equivalent as at 31st uh, December 2017. And the same is the opening balance for March 2018. And then you can see my closing figure for March 20, 2018 as 346,936. And that one is matching with the balances in uh, in uh, statement of cash flow or balance sheet for cash and cash balance. So you can see the, even the figure for 31st December 2017 for cash and cash balances is tying with our net cash and cash equivalents for uh, December for December 2017 rather for 2017 balances so our cash flow balances are tying with our bank balances within our balance sheet and then we also have here revenue and revenue here I only have for 2018 of which we have tabular visual and a chart as well and then you also have cost and expenses and with cost and expenses we have both for 2017 and 2018 so when I click on 2018 you can see what I have as uh, direct cost and operating expenses both in tabular form and in uh, charts as well and then we can also move to current assets rather current assets and uh, liabilities so we have current assets as, as at january february and march and we also have current assets as at january february and uh, march as well and uh, the same current assets and current abilities, we also have charts for them. Then we also have non-current assets, and the non-current assets here we have uh, we have non-current assets at costs. We have accumulated depreciation, and then we have non-current assets, rather net non-current assets. And these are just the the non-current asset at cost minus accumulated deposition and then we also have equity and liabilities both in tabular form and then in, uh, in charts and these are just for 2018 not for 2017 and then we also have our tb details so when you want to drill down or rather drill through to a particular figure within our charts or within our tabular data we'll get to tb details so ladies and gentlemen this is just an overview of what i did for income statement balance sheet and uh, cash flow so i want to stop uh, rather i love to stop at, uh, this video for now and then we'll continue on the next video we will start from trial balance to uh, desktop rather probably a desktop and then we'll see how we can uh, create income statement balance sheet and uh, cash flow from trial balance to our financial reports so this was just an overview of what i did so let's stop at that and then let's meet on the next video